Hello everyone, I'm going to do yet another motor. This is the Trinity D3.5 21.5 motor. Uh, as you can see, the timing is set at zero degrees. And let's just get to it. There we go. Now, uh, I have other videos uh, on YouTube that uh, I've done the Tekken and the R1 Works timing. Um, I'm just doing these videos to help you guys out with, uh, you know, understanding what the actual timing settings are for the motors, because, uh, they're definitely not the same on the can, so, I hope this helps you guys out. There it goes, the average is 31. Alright, so let's change that to 10 degrees on the can here. Not very easy. Alright, there we go. 10 degrees on the can. Here we go. So this is 10 degrees on the can. Now what's interesting is that Trinity has set up the motor where you have to go counterclockwise to increase the timing uh, so I learned that earlier on when my motor wasn't running very fast but it was running really cool all right motor timing is 40 degrees all right so let's move up to 20 on the can which is actually maximum can so I prefer just doing um, uh, steps of 10 degrees on the can it just makes things go a lot quicker and uh, hopefully that will get you within the range that you're looking for with uh, tuning your uh, motor on whatever track surface and whatever class you're running and here we go the timing is 48 degrees. All right, so there you go. This was the Trinity D35 uh, 215. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.